Hi guys, happy homebrew Wednesday for Wednesday, May 13th, 2015. Cheers. So where have I been, you might ask? Um, well, I just got back from uh, vacation, and the week before that I had a little procedure done on my foot that put me down and out for a few days. So that's why I haven't uh, made a video in a couple weeks uh, due to the, the procedure on my foot. For one week and then uh, was on vacation the other week uh, we'll show you some footage from that and uh, we'll go over the things that I uh, got on my trip where did I go on vacation you might ask um, I'm gonna let you guys guess that um, I'll roll the footage and uh, I'll catch up with you after cheers and enjoy nope not Hawaii or Florida Here's clue number two. If you guess California or Nevada, you're getting closer. Here's the final clue. Yes, that's right. We went to Arizona and also to Mexico. While in Tucson, we went to a store called Total Wine, an excellent store if you're a craft brewer like we are. This is just a shot to show you how big the store actually is. Here's a little bit of the uh, craft beer section where you can buy six packs and four packs. Just a little taste of what they had. This is the single section of the craft beer. Um, thousands and thousands of different kinds of beer. Everything that you could think of. They pretty much had it. Um, if it's bottled, it's sold here. Um, it just went on and on and on. This is just a little taste of uh, what I seen there. It was very interesting. This is one aisle of many aisles of wine that they had. They had thousands of wines also. This is footage from the Tap and Bottle in Tucson where I drank an Elusive Traveler and a New Belgium Skinny Dip. Very tasty. Also on our trip, we stopped at the Dam Bar and Grill. Here's the actual dam that they're referring to, the Lake Powell Dam. So there you have it. Uh, we went down to Tucson, Arizona and uh, visited our boy down there. And uh, while we was there, we also made a little trip down into Mexico. So that was uh, pretty enjoyable other than the drive. Uh, drove 2,200 miles. So put a few miles on the car there. Um, long drive, but uh, really enjoyable trip. Now let's uh, take a peek at what we got. We got a six pack of uh, Ace Perry Hard Cider. Um, I've been looking for some uh, pear cider for a while to try. I haven't been able to find any around here, so uh, I picked up a few selections while I was there. We got the Ace kind. Um, I also got a Magner's Irish cider. It's a pear cider also. Um, I got a Crispin Natural Hard Pear Cider. Uh, elegant and bright, it says. Um, also, I got a pineapple hard cider. Never heard of a pineapple hard cider. So uh, I got a couple of those to give a try to. And then also, I got a berry hard cider. I've never heard of one of them. Uh, Ace made a, one of them also. So uh, it's 5% uh, alcohol in that guy. I think they're all right around 5%. And then uh, I've never had a red ale. So I picked a Murphy's Red Ale. I just kind of took a stab at it. Uh, I didn't know what was good or not. Uh, we'll be giving this a whirl. Um, also, something I had never seen, uh, mini beers. They sell mini beers down there. I guess they don't like to get too drunk. So that was kind of entertaining, so we bought some of those. Um, also, uh, salty watermelon flavored vodka. Um, haven't tried that yet. Uh, I'll crack it open and give it a taste someday and uh, maybe we'll do that on a video. Sorry guys, the uh, battery ran out so uh, we'll pick up where we left off. We got a, a bottle of Lambrusco here. That's uh, my favorite kind of wine. Um, it's been kind of hard to find around here so I picked a bottle of that up. Um, here's one that I've been looking a lot for. Um, it's a Muscadine wine. I've heard Muscadines make great wine. Um, they're not grown around here, uh, so this is going to be a real treat for me to be able to try that. Uh, 
So we'll be trying that pretty soon. It's a muscadine wine. And then last but not least, uh, Dan, if you're watching, um, I got this. You've inspired me. So uh, it's a Crick Lambic Belgian Cherry Beer. It's uh, my first sour beer. I don't know if I picked out a good one, but uh, it looked interesting to me, so uh, I'll be giving that a try soon. Um, if you guys haven't tried a sour beer, I'll uh, be doing a video on that and uh, kind of compare it to other things that uh, we make and drink. So I'm looking real forward to that one. Hey guys, that's uh, kind of about it in a nutshell. Uh, definitely we'll be uh, doing some tastings as you can see uh, in future videos. Um, Got to do some brewing here in the next few weeks. Uh, my uh, best friend's moving a little closer so maybe we'll get a little time to uh, hang out more. So got to do some brewing because we'll be drinking some more then. Uh, not real sure what I'm going to brew yet. Uh, I have a Pilsner uh, kit that I'm going to brew up here in the next week or two. So be watching for the videos coming out in the next few weeks. Uh, hopefully we'll get some brewing footage in there and we'll get some tastings done. And uh, we'll uh, enjoy some time. Uh, I'm going to try and catch up on some videos. I haven't been able to watch very many videos the last couple weeks. So uh, look for my comments guys. Uh, I will be watching your videos uh, in my spare time over the next couple weeks trying to catch up. Also, if you remember in my last video, it's been a couple weeks ago with everything that uh, happened, but uh, I did talk about doing a, a Google chat. Uh, I still want to do that. If you guys will uh, put some comments down below, let me know uh, when works out best for you guys, and uh, we'll kind of do a general consensus, and uh, I'll put a time together, and uh, I will let you guys know when we're going to do that. Okay, guys, uh, I think I've taken up about enough of your time. Uh, I look forward to watching your videos over the next couple of weeks and uh, I hope that you look forward to uh, my videos coming out over the next few weeks and uh, remember there's always time for a glass of wine. Cheers.